Yeah, I tweet every once in a while and talk about in videos how I duplicate my drives. And since I needed to duplicate my drive, I'm like at a halfway point and pimping out a new build. Uh, you know, I, I like to like back it up someplace so I don't have to like say, go through all that work again and <laughs> shit. You know? So like, you know, since I gotta do a, a duplication uh, to back it up, I, I decided to just make this video and show you like, so you don't like duplicate. What, what, what is he talking about? You know, <laughs> well, let me show you my little friend here. Let me introduce you to my little fucking friend. Star Tech duplicator dock. Okay, um, I got this for around 50 60 bucks or some shit, and uh, I was desperately trying to save this build that I had in uh, uh, early 2012. It was important to me that I wasn't going to be able to do any of my shit if it fucking, uh, if I lost it and shit like that. And, uh, it looked like I might lose it because, uh, you know, I had some, 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 you know, some BS. There's always some malware or some weird shit happening to your drive. And it's just like scary, you know? I mean, you can't lose this build. You've only got one drive, you know? So I looked into stuff like Acrona software to, uh, duplicate the drive. Uh, and this isn't just transferring a bunch of files over. I mean, I could do that anytime with a, uh, some external hard drive or something like that. No, this is taking an OS with all your installed programs from one hard drive to another. Okay? And the Acrona stuff was looking scary, like it, it could mess up your build too and all this stuff. And then I found this. Alright. Uh, this is the primary drive, and this is my data drive. Uh, I highly recommend that people get computers that have two drives. Because, you know, I'm able to duplicate my primary drive, you know, and, and I have my one terabyte data drive over here that's just holding everything. I could just wipe this out, like, a hundred times a day, but still take everything off of here and put it on here. And it's, sometimes it's best to run stuff off of here so that this is free to do stuff. I mean, it's it's great. You have to get uh, two hard drives. Um, and, you know, there's a cable. You, you got to, of course, you know, you'll come with this tiny little cable for your primary drive. But you, you, you'll have to order a second one that's, like, longer. Okay? It only costs, like, four or five bucks. Just, you know, get it on Amazon or something like that. They'll ship it to you right in your mailbox. Okay? And you could attach a, a second drive. Anyway, uh, you know, of course, unplug the computer, uh, take out the battery, you know, standard BS. Sometimes I leave the battery in, I don't even care. You know. uh, unplug, since we're doing the, the primary drive, unplug the primary drive plug from the actual laptop. Real simple. Okay, uh, there's four screws that attach the carriage to the laptop, okay? Uh, but I only use two since I'm like, you know, switching these out like all the time and stuff. I've, I've probably done this operation like about a hundred times, like literally. I do this all the time. You're gonna need a little uh, tool. Uh, you know, I've been sculpting a lot since uh, the mid 90s and I always use these little flathead eyeglass screwdrivers. So, uh, yeah, there's a good chance that Alex Grum has a flathead eyeglass screwdriver in his stuff. But you might want to use whatever you have. Uh, these are Phillips screws, but of course, as many of you know, you can use uh, uh, a flathead and a Phillips screw. All right, put them, don't lose them. Put them off to the side and stuff like that. Uh, I have the other two. Uh, saved in a little bit of plastic in my bag and stuff like that. Okay, now you just pull it out like a rat <laughs> by the tail. <laughs> and uh, there we go. We've got a drive that's out. Okay, now there's little uh, uh, carriage screws that actually like attach the uh, carriage to the hard drive, and we've got to pull those out. Okay, same. Use the same screw. I use the same screwdriver. Hang on. Now watch taking these out and stuff. I I've done this like 
in restaurants and stuff like that. I'm like just sitting there on their Wi-Fi, kind of get off their Wi-Fi and switch out a drive and stuff, like right in the middle of the restaurant. You know, it's like, you know, that's definitely, they don't see that every day. But, uh, uh, and I've done it like plenty of times, but uh, just recently, I only have three screws for this now because uh, at Starbucks, I did, a, I did a swap out and I lost one of these little screws at Starbucks and I couldn't find it. So watch it. I mean, when you're putting them in or taking them out, you know, it can, it can get, it. you know, they can like pop out and like just spring somewhere across the room. And it's like, oh my God, I just lost one of my screws. Okay. Really? I've done this like a hundred times. And then that happened to me at Starbucks. So watch it. All right. Now this is completely detached from the carriage and there's your hard drive. And Take out your little plug. Here, I'll set down the camera. Take out the little cable that like attaches to it. Just slip it out. And when you want to put it back in, you just slip it back in. Little side note here. Um, uh, by the way, I, I do not work for StarTech. <laughs> I am not paid by StarTech, but I use StarTech for my uh, hard drive accessories. I, I, I'm really happy with them and uh, this external hard drive I have two of them and uh, they're all aluminum this one solid piece of aluminum okay which is important you don't want some cheap crappy two-piece thing okay that's made out of plastic too or something like that I mean aluminum's good for dissipating heat that's why they make uh, MacBooks out of aluminum and shit anyway uh, Fucking, uh, but like it's got like two pieces of plastic on the end of it and shit like that. That's like a blue LED. It like lights up all blue LED when it's working. And like this is where the actual USB comes out. Just kind of flips out like that. Okay. And like uh, outside of like uh, putting data on this and stuff like that, I just use them to store my hard drives when like I'm not using them. I mean, it's like good protection for your hard drive. Now I've got two of these uh, 750 gigabyte 7200 RPM drives and uh, those are my primary drives and I have two 1 terabyte uh, 5400 RPM drives and those are my data drives. Plus I still have the, uh, the 120 gigabyte uh, 5400 RPM uh, drive from my old Dell laptop, which I use as a backup and stuff. I've even had it as the primary drive in my, my, uh, my new HP and everything. So really, you know, these drives, you know, the, if, if your drive is still good and the laptop went to shit, just pull out the drive. You could still use it later. <laughs> Throw the laptop away. All right, now uh, here's the actual StarTech unit, and uh, this little flap goes down. This is where you're going to put in uh, the the hard drive, but you know, see, this is just for a little laptop hard drive, but it can flap can go down so that you can actually put a big desktop drive in there too. Okay, and you can see down in there. That's where it's going to attach, like that cable that I just pulled out of it. That's kind of the same thing as the cable. Okay. So, you just slip it in there, tag out, tag, tag to the front, and just kind of push it in. There you go. You know, put, the, put the other one in for you and stuff. See so, you how know, simple it is. It's just like putting in a Nintendo game. You know? <laughs> I just think I got a blow in these, though. <laughs> Alright, here's the Star Tag with two, seven, 50 gigabyte hard drives in them and uh, they are 7200 RPMs both uh, but this is a Seagate and this is a Western Digital that's the only difference okay, I use the same drive basically the same specs you turn on power where it says PC copy over here on the this second blue button hold it down till it turns red now you're on copy it's not PC alright and you always want the one that you're trying to copy off in the back and the one you're trying to copy onto in the front and you hit start 
and that little blue blinking light right there is telling you that it's starting to to copy over and it's going to be totally duplicated when all those aren't blinking all four of those are solid and you know this red light up here obviously means that it's it's duplicating okay I'll give you a little updates through, through this whole process so you you can see the magic <laughs> okay we don't even have one solid bar over here on the flashing blinking light and these drives are already getting hot all right but don't worry about it they just get hot and they're gonna get hotter all right it's been about a half hour or so uh, and we got one solid bar so we're like a quarter there and you know these drives are definitely getting hot but don't worry about it I mean you know they'll get hot sometimes you'll think they're gonna explode <laughs> but uh they never have yet uh oh what's that holy shit I'm just kidding decided to give you some you know little Alex Grimm effects there um, yeah, no, everything's fine, uh, you know, these, yeah, I've used this maybe like 30 or 40 times doing this duplication, so, and it still works, so, I mean, just take that in consideration when you're wondering about the longevity of this, this unit. Alright, it's about two hours later, and the little blue LEDs are blue and not one red one blue if one was red you know it's still copying red is the color on this unit to determine if there's some copying going on so if there's no more red going on on these little LEDs which are actually the indicators of each of these drives they mean like that drive and that drive you know that's what those LEDs stand for so we got full bars here stable blue bars there's no blinking Okay, uh, you could feel the the drives are like warm. They're not hot. Okay, I think it's pretty safe to assume that they're done copying. They're done duplicating. Okay, so uh, just they got the little uh, levers on the side to pop them out nice and easy. Okay, you just pop it out and then you're taking it out putting it in the laptop yeah just a little treat for the people that sat through this <laughs> wondering what the fuck I'm duplicating uh, you know this is like you know half as good as what the people that watch my little vlog channel tutorials have seen uh, you know I don't have a video desktop background so I've just got that Iron Maiden up there I didn't even get any hot chicks up there and stuff <laughs> you know, I just used some Iron Maiden so that I don't get a uh, age restricted or something, uh, you know. And I got all my programs and stuff on my Nexus Ultimate dock with their animated icons and everything. You know, I don't even have the the all purple glass windows and the the cool black icons with the purple trim and stuff that I normally use and stuff. You know, but yeah, I, I'm just saving it at this point and like you know, gotta pimp it out later. So anyway, Grim out.